Next one. Is it recommended to gather one's intention before praying? So this is probably a literal translation from the Arabic. It just means to make a firm intention. And intention is azmul qalb, where you just make your mind up. I'm 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 going to pray the Dhuhr prayer. I'm going to pray the the two the four sunnahs of Dhuhr, uh, and you, all you have to do is think it in your heart. Um, even technically, you don't even have to do that. But as long as you know in your mind, that's what I'm doing. Allahu Akbar, it's done. So some people find it easier to verbalize it, <clears throat> so do it, right? But in general things like general acts of worship, it's always good to state an intention and uh, when it comes to learning or teaching there's for example there's a, a very famous and beneficial intention by uh, Imam Abdullah ibn Alawi al-Haddad and the great Yemeni saint and scholar in a way to ta'allum wa ta'aleem wa tadhakkar wa tadhkir and I, I personally try to say this when, before I teach and when I study um, so that's always important to do when you're doing any other act of worship someone's asked you go and perform the adhan so uh, the best thing to do is to align your heart to allah and just say oh allah just for you oh allah i'm doing this just for you and align yourself with one moment of pure sincerity to allah and then after that don't worry about what pops into your head or what doesn't just say oh allah i'm doing it just for you and turn to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so yes it is recommended to do that and the simple way is to verbalize it or state it in your mind but always connecting the intention to allah right with sincerity La ilaha illallah, Muhammad, Rasulullah.